Yo, you clicked on that video because you wanted to see this plugin here. This is called Fusion, and Fusion is my new spectral resynthesis. I'm super proud of it, and I would love to walk completely through it and show exactly what it can do and what possibilities it can deliver to you. And I think it is a thing and it's a good, great tool in 2025, which can definitely help you make your sound design sound so modern and super cool. I would describe it myself as like an angry bee. <laughs> so let's get into it. So I put some examples into it. We got two basses, one vocal, guitar, drums, and a song. And we go through it. I put Fusion on the group just so I can solo it and go through all of individual sounds. And I think that should work perfectly for this example. All right. So let's get into the first one. We got one bass. Let's open Fusion and enable it. So what we need to do first, this is how it looks. Pretty. <laughs> so right now, nothing works. To make the plugin work, we need to enable the resynthesis. So what the resynthesis is doing exactly, it takes your sound, it analyzes it, it takes the pitch tracker to track the fundamental frequency, and it tries to do, recreate the sound with a specific FFT formula. This is how it sounds when I turn on the resynthesis knob. Pretty cool. And then we have on the right, we have the emphasis knob, which is um, emphasizing the harmonics of the sound. So on the right, we have a really soft sound. And on the left, we have a more harsher sound, but more with texture. Then we have the split, which is splitting the harmonic content into odd harmonics or even harmonics. We can hear these contents more like as a, for example, as a square, which is only odd harmonics. And then we have also even harmonics, and that's how it sounds, which is basically like a saw one octave up, if you see it that way. Then we have the shift. Shift is basically a formant shifter and a formant filter, where I use a convolution reverb with the tail adjustments. And on the format filter, I use some specific peaks, which I'm boosting. This is sounding like that. So if we pull it down, it sounds more growly. If we pull it up, it sounds more airy. And these are really cool if you're designing some sounds, or for example, if you have like a post-processing rack, you put it before all that stuff. It sounds really cool because you can notch out these peaks. Then we have the compression, or I call it more the low-end compression because it affects more the low-end because if we look at the frequency domain, the first thing which is going to be affected is always the low-end. So this is the first thing which is the highest peak, and this is what we compress. And at the same time, it does some masking. So if we pull it too high, we can hear only the spectral artifacts, which is pretty cool. So you can hear the sub gets uh, quieter also, which is, is getting compressed. Now we are back to normal. Then on the right, we have a fundamental boost, which is boosting, as the name is saying, the fundamental frequency. And let's boost it up. Up to 12 dB, we can boost it. Then we have here, which is pretty cool, bass auto-tune. We can enable this by turning this little knob on here. And then we can push this up, which will only auto-tune the fundamental note of that sound. And we can switch the scale from minor to major. Which is pretty cool, I think. Then the scale function and the color function doesn't work without turning this little knob on here, the power button. Okay, then on the right side, we have the root. So basically the root is isolating the that because we take out the added sound which goes into the, into the FFT patch on Fusion. And I just wanted to isolate pitch tracked signal. That's why I called it root. And here we have the option now also to play with the split, which you can hear clearly the odd and even split also. 
And the cool thing is we can use also the root technique. If you have like a specific sound where you want to track just the little tone of it, and then you want to process it, that's a perfect opportunity to do, the, to do that. I have an example later with the vocal, what we can do. And then on the end, we have the range. And the range is just for the pitch tracker itself. So we can define the range. If it's a bass note, then we can stay on the little bass logo here. Or if it's like a melody note, we can switch it to melody. So the pitch tracker works better for the melody in this way. All right. And that's specifically it for it. We have a cool like a nice spectrum analyzer for it. And we can also scale it if we want to. And now I would love to just experiment with you guys and just go through the sounds and show you what it can do and how it sounds in general. Double click is bringing the value back to its initial value. Next sound, we got growl. Okay, let's auto-tune it now. Now you can hear how it goes like... Something like that. That's cool. And then we can pitch it up. How it snaps into the scale, it's pretty cool. And now we put it to minor. Now we can pull up the root. Little fun fact, if we pull up the color all the way up, kind of like that, and then you put some OTTs underneath it, and you can like do this kind of like Leo Tricks, Emo Boy kind of track sound effect with that. I think that's kind of cool. And let's go to the next sound, vocals. Let's try vocals. And now... And then we pull resynthesis back up. And now we put the range up to melody, because I think it works better on this one. Yeah. Now we can put up the root just to track the melody. And that's pretty cool because now you can like just take the melody and have that resynthesized into a normal saw and you can split it even to odd and even harmonics. So you have only like a square or like a saw plus one. Or like an even sound. On the second one, it doesn't work that well. Maybe you can switch to the other mode. There we go. So sometimes you can also just toggle between the pitch tracker mode and it still works. So you have like a nice opportunity to pitch track the right sound of it. There we go. Now it works. And that's pretty cool. Let's switch to a guitar now. Okay, put it back to normal. Oh, that's a nice texture. Without? With. And you can see here, the melodic range works better. There you go. We can pitch it up also. Also cool. We can play a lot around with that. Let's see now on drums.
Nice tonalities also. And now we can add the color back. Pull the root a little bit back. Reverb on it. You can do so much stuff with that. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's put it back and let's see on a song. I think on the song itself, it's also really, really cool for transitions. So you can go back from, from resynthesis to full resynthesis. So let's try it on a song. Without. Full resynthesis. Of course, root functions the same. Nice. And now we can also use it for transitions. And I think that's pretty fucking dope. So this is Fusion. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, I put the link in the description so you can buy it easy. It's going to be 19 bucks. And I could have put the price even higher, but I thought... A, I want to make this plugin accessible for everyone in this community. So I put it 19 euros. So this should be a must buy for everyone. And I hope you guys enjoy it a lot as I do. See you guys.